I tell people all the time that Edmonton is one of the most affordable cities to live in in Canada. But what does that really mean? What's the real cost of living? What are the numbers? Today, we're going to be doing a deep dive into the real cost of living here in Edmonton, Alberta. We're going to be taking a look at income, taxes, housing costs, utilities, transportation, food, and more. So stick around if you want to know what it really costs to live in Edmonton, Alberta. Hey guys, my name is Brian Garside. I'm a real estate agent here in Edmonton with eXp Realty. And I'm getting calls from people every single day who want to move out here to Edmonton to create a more flexible and affordable lifestyle. I'm also getting calls from investors every day who want to create financial freedom by investing into the affordable real estate market here in Edmonton. If either of these sound like you, I want you to reach out to me. I'm going to put my phone number and my email here on the screen so that you can reach out to me and we can talk about what we can do to help you create that affordable home ownership here in Edmonton. Whether you want to move next week, next month, or next year, I want to hear from you so that we can plan out your home ownership dreams here in Edmonton. And right. if you guys want to know everything there is to know about living here in Edmonton, then subscribe to the channel so that you can be the first to know when we post more content about living here in Edmonton. The first thing that we're going to be looking into is the income level. Now, according to the last census data, the average household income in Edmonton is just over $121,000. Now that sounds great, but to know what that really means, we have to dive into the taxes as well. Edmonton is on a progressive tax bracket. So there's a lot of confusion around this. And I've seen coworkers who've actually turned down raises because they thought they would get bumped into the next tax bracket and lose money on their next paycheck. That's not how this works. So just to give you an example, the first tax bracket that we have in Alberta goes up to just over $131,000. Now you pay 10% provincial tax on any dollar up to $131,000. Now, if you made $132,000, you wouldn't pay the next tax bracket on the whole $132,000. You would pay 10% on $131,000 and then 12% on, on the last $1,000 to make that $132,000. So the next tax bracket goes up to $157,000 and you're gonna be paying 12% provincial income tax. Beyond that, you go up to $210,000 and you're going to be paying 13% provincial income tax. The dollars between $210,000 and $315,000, you're going to pay 14% provincial income tax. And anything above $315,000, you're going to be paying 15% provincial income tax. So what does that mean if we take a look at the median household average income in Alberta? So we talked about that $121,000 that the average household takes home in Alberta. Now, after taxes, that's going to be $95,000. So here in Alberta, you actually get to keep a good amount of money compared to other Canadian cities. Now, the second thing that I want to take a look at is your housing costs. The median home price in Edmonton for February of 2022 was $383,000. And that's actually up 10% since February of 2021. That shows you just how affordable home ownership still is in Edmonton compared to these coastal cities like Toronto and Vancouver, where you're paying over a million dollars or even other cities like Ottawa, Montreal and Calgary, where you're paying over this $383,000 that we're seeing in Edmonton. This is still very achievable for most homeowners. And that's why people are reaching out to me all the time to invest or purchase real estate for their own sake here in Edmonton. So if that's something that you're interested in, I want you to give me a call so that we can talk about how we can make your homeownership dreams happen here in Edmonton. Now, buying a house isn't for everybody, and it's not the only thing that goes into housing costs. So we're also gonna be taking a look at rental rates here in Edmonton. The rental rates are cheaper here in Edmonton than most other major Canadian cities. If you're looking at a one bedroom apartment, you're gonna pay about $940 here in Edmonton compared to over $2,000 in Vancouver. $1,800 in Toronto, $1,500 in Ottawa, and even over $1,100 in Calgary. If you bump that up to a two bedroom apartment, you're gonna be paying $1,180 here in Edmonton. Now that's compared to $3,000 in Vancouver, $2,250 in Toronto, $1,800 in Ottawa, and over $1,400 in Calgary. So rental rates really are so affordable here in Edmonton. Housing costs are affordable here in Edmonton. And with the higher than average income that we have here in Edmonton, you're going to be spending less of your money on this housing and be able to have a more affordable lifestyle. Now, obviously something that does factor into housing costs is property taxes. Now here and around the city of Edmonton, it does fluctuate a little bit city to city, but here in Edmonton, we're paying about 1% on our property taxes. 
So what does this mean? If I purchased a house in Edmonton for $400,000 and it was assessed at $400,000 by the city, I would pay $4,000 per year in property taxes. Now you can pay that per year or you can pay that per month. Now, but obviously there are different costs that are associated with living here in Edmonton. The next thing we're going to be taking a look at is utilities. Now this varies so much person to person based on their usage, but I'm just going to give you an idea of what I pay for utilities here in Edmonton. Now this is for a three bedroom house and a family of five. So this could be very different from what you would pay. But just on average, we pay about 250 to $300 a month for our utilities. Now, if we wanted to break that into three subcategories here, we're looking at about $50 a month for our internet, $100 a month for water and garbage, and $100 a month for heat and electricity. Now those last two, those can switch month to month. It, it kind of depends on what the month looks like, the temperature of the month. But on average, we're paying 250 to $300 a month for our utilities. Now, what about the food cost? Food is the one area where we see that Edmonton pays a little bit more than Canadian average. All right, so in Edmonton, you're paying about 150 to $300 for a weekly grocery trip. Now, this isn't absurd by any means, and we're still paying less than a city like Toronto, and we're on par with Montreal and Calgary. But in terms of groceries, we do see a slight price increase in Edmonton than across the nation. And that's not something that's huge or going to you know, be a deal breaker by any means. Also, if we look at restaurants, you're paying about 10 to $15 for a fast food meal. You're paying about 15 to $20 for a small lunch. And then if you're going out for a multi-course dinner, it's going to be 35 to $50 here in Edmonton. And the final thing that we want to take a look at today is transportation costs. We need transportation to get to work. We need transportation to get to activities. So if you look at transit, you're going to be paying about $3.50 for one-way transit fare, or you can pay about $100 a month for a monthly pass. Now, they do have discounted rates for seniors and youth under 24 as well. But typically for an adult, you're going to be paying $100 for a monthly pass that will allow you access to the fairly reliable bus and LRT system here in Edmonton. Now, in terms of gas prices, it's February of 2022. This is a really sore subject right now. We're seeing very high gas prices all across Canada and in North America. Right now here in Edmonton, we're paying upwards of $1.50 a litre. And we're seeing that in other places in the country like Vancouver, they're paying over $2 a litre. But my experience, and I've lived here in Edmonton my whole life, typically you're going to be paying between $0.90 cents and $1.10 per litre. It fluctuates a little bit above that $1.10 and a little bit below that $0.90 cents sometimes. But for the most part, you're going to be paying between that 90 and 110 cents per liter for gas. And then if you are driving to and from work every day, if you're driving to and from your activities, obviously you're going to need insurance on your vehicle. The average price for car insurance in Edmonton is just under $2,500. And that works out to about $200 per month. All right. I hope this has given you a good sense of what it costs to live here in Edmonton, Alberta. And hopefully you can understand why so many people are making the move to Edmonton from other places in the country right now. If you're interested in moving from these high cost of living areas like Toronto, Vancouver, Ottawa, Montreal, and making the move to an affordable lifestyle here in Edmonton, I want you to reach out to me. Whether you want to move next week, next month, or next year, we'll be able to help you create affordable home ownership here in Edmonton. And if you're interested in what it, in everything there is to know about living here in Edmonton, Alberta, then subscribe to the channel so that you can be the first to know when we post more content about living here in Edmonton. And if you want to get right to it, click the card up here so that you can watch our next video on living here in Edmonton. Thanks guys. And I'll see you in the next one.